Hey everyone! Digital Factory has a range of packages that support vinyl cutters. For these packages, we've developed features that allow users to create, edit, or delete contour cut lines. Contour cuts can be applied in several ways. Automatically, when files are imported, through the Add Contour Cut menu selection, added while in the Variable Data Wizard, and finally, in the Contour Cut dialog. Digital Factory generates contour cut lines using the opacity of the graphics and creates cut lines around solid areas regardless of color. Cut lines can be generated without preparation of the file if the file supports transparency, such as PSD, TIFF, PDF, and PNG, as well as vector-based formats, including EPS and SVG. In this video, we explain how to use the contour cutting feature with PDF and EPS files. With our first two example files, we'll show how to create a contour cut line in Digital Factory with the Contour Cut button and Add Contour. To learn how to create a contour cut line with our variable data wizard, Please view our video on advanced features of contour cutting in the Variable Data Wizard found on our YouTube channel. To create a contour cut, you need to have a print and cut queue selected. With the file imported, select the job and the contour cut button will appear in the status panel to the lower right. You can also add a contour cut by right clicking on the job in the queue, go to contour cut and select add. This will automatically apply a contour cut to the job based on settings set in the queue properties. For our purpose, we'll click on the Contour Cut button. The Contour Cut dialog will open. The Contour Cut settings are on the smart bar at the top of the dialog. On the left, you can select Inside Outside to have the Contour Cut appear not only on the perimeter of the graphic, but also in spaces within the graphic. Bitmap Frame will create a contour cut line around the bounding box of the image. In the center, you can define corner shape, color, the offset of the contour cut, and a bleed vector amount, which is the trapping of the image. On the right, you can set the merge strength, which determines how tight the contour cut appears around the graphic. The looser the merge strength, the smoother the contour cut line, and the more likely separate contour cuts may merge into one cut line. These details can be reviewed in the previously mentioned video. Ensure the inside outside is unticked, color is set to red, and offset is set to 0.2 inches. Click Apply. The monochrome filter dialog will now open and will go with the default settings. Click OK. A contour cut has been applied. You'll see it as a dashed line around the graphic. Deselect the graphic by clicking outside the object. Notice that the smart bar changes. Now click on Send a queue on the right of the smart bar. In the queue, the job attributes have changed, and a knife has appeared in the icon in front of the job name to indicate a contour cut line exists. In the next example, I'll right click on the second job, select Contour Cut, and click Add. A contour cut line has automatically been added to the job. You'll see it in the preview of the cut line around the graphic on the right. If the view is set to Show Print and Cut Preview in the drop down list on the top left of the preview window. For more information, view our video Setting Up Automated Contour Cutting of Printed Images, also found on our YouTube channel. As mentioned, our contour cutting feature works on the basis of transparency and opacity. For best results, files should be saved as PDF version 1.4 or above. The following example shows the difference between using the correct version of PDF to an older version. With the PDF 1.4 file, we get the result we would expect based on the previous settings. EPS files in PDF 1.3 or older files do not support transparency, and if the original graphics have transparent objects, they'll be flattened, and you will not get accurate contour cut paths. If the original file doesn't contain transparency, EPS and PDF 1.3 or older files will still work correctly. This shows the importance of the correct PDF version. To view the contour cuts of the jobs without the graphic, select Show Cut Preview Only from the Preview dropdown. Now the preview hides that artwork of the jobs and only shows the cut lines. Quite often, the design within the PDF, EPS, or AI file has a white object behind the graphic. This would affect the contour cut, creating a rectangular cut line. You can check this in your design software by creating a colored background below the graphic. This way, the white object will be visible. If there is a white background, the contour cut in our RIP will create a contour cut around the white. Remove this background prior to loading it into Digital Factory. With the backgrounds removed, load the job into the queue. The goal is to create a contour cut line around each sticker. Click on the Contour Cut button on the lower right. Apply the contour cut line to the job using the same settings we used in previous examples, but this time, the offset is set to 0.07 inches. Send the job back to the queue. The contour cut lines can be seen in the preview and they are ready to print and cut. Thanks for watching. 
If this video helped you, hit the like button. And if you have any questions, please reach out to us anytime. Don't forget to subscribe for more videos covering all of Catling's products.